might find floating around uh, out so, here. So because of our, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is Shulgin's world. Uh, be, because of the this Genesis engine thing, I've come across these microfluidics chips, and in the 2030s, they're going to be small enough. It's a complete chemical factory that will go under your skin, take your blood serum in, and make everything in Sasha's index. So I'm calling it the Shulgin chip. And whoever makes this thing uh, will totally change the access to consciousness. Be and, and not only that, and I'll just give you the, the preview. You, you can hear the whole thing on Thursday. The chip will be dry, driven by your sense of consciousness of what you need to reach certain states and then very thin pickups uh, on your head will show you in augmented reality your brain, your mental organs, and the flow of your serotonin networks. So you can moderate that. But you, this is beyond the era of Twitter. So your brain state, as it comes alive, will be shared in a, in a mega cyber mind with other people's brain states. And similar minds Will, will click in a kind of big Google search and will inform you as to your state and run your Shulgin chip and put you into a group mind uh, high that will have never been experienced on the planet. And from that point, so those people who are, who are kitted out with this kind of thing, you know, when, you, when we're in these states and we see this flash or this really brief period we're in an ultra high state when we, we see through the crack into inf infinity or the glassy plane we just fall from that we probably don't even remember it a lot of the time well these people are going to start that's their baseline they're going to start from there and they're going to go up and that's what this whole grand merger is going to going to uh, give us so come to the, the entheogenic singularity talk on Thursday at 10 yeah, I mean, I don't know if I totally ascribe to that particular vision of how it might happen. I mean, who knows how or what is going to happen, but I, I generally think that, um, you know, we, we can see that our society has reached the, the end of materialism in a way. Like, there's no place further to go. You know, that we've, we've sucked the resources out of the planet. Uh, you know, we have to sort of turn human society in another direction and potentially, um, you know, the, 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 the kind of qualitative exploration of different mind-body states, uh, could, you know, which is, I think, very much what Burning Man is all about, uh, is something that we could see as a sort of new direction uh, you know, for, for, for human society in, in the future. Does that make any sense? Maybe it doesn't make enough sense. Make some sense? Any right. more questions from y'all out there? Anybody else? I know you're happy to go again. If like, and it's so nice to hear different voices. Oh, yeah. in the back, yes. We can barely, totally, not quite hear you. <laughs> come, come up a little closer, maybe. Can you hear me now? Yes, great. I think we should stick with the psychedelic shamanism theme because we really don't have that much time. I mean, unless you have a quick. Um, I think uh, that the if we do the second genesis, if if we if we see something coming alive from our own hand from scratch de novo, it's going to have such a huge impact on humanity. It's like when we saw the Earth from space in 1968. We're going to realize, oh my God, it's a, a process of creation. We can create the new. You know, it's gonna it's going to be a trip, a, a shamanic experience when that happens. That's what I hope, anyway. How many people here know about the work that MAPS is doing, uh, multidisciplinary association for psychedelic studies? Um, so I've actually camped with a lot of the MAPS people across town, and they're kind of the leading organization doing uh, medical research into psychedelics. And I just think it's you know, since we're talking about the subject, it's super informative to know that like. Um, all this amazing discoveries are happening right now. I was at the, um, I guess a year ago, there was in Oakland, there was a psychedelic science conference, and uh, just the level of discoveries around what, what you can do with psychedelics for healing. So for instance, using psilocybin mushrooms to treat obsessive compulsive disorder or cluster headaches, uh, using um, MDMA, which is ecstasy, to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. Have people been following that at all? So apparently with, um, 
veterans from the Iraq and Afghanistan war who have treatment averse forms of PTSD. They've been doing, um, you know, psychotherapist assisted uh, MDMA therapy. And in, in three uh, sessions, 